Welcome to Wallingford. Located north of downtown Seattle, sandwiched between Fremont and the U District, this neighborhood has so much to offer. Good morning. Today we are going to be exploring Wallingford, home of Dave Matthews, Dick Striven, Molly Moons. I mean, what else do you even need in this world? I'm so excited to get started with these neighborhood series, something that I've been doing pretty regularly over on Instagram and TikTok. If you're not following along over there, you should be. But I wanted to do something a little bit more long form, something where you feel like you're really getting to know the neighborhood, whether you're moving to Seattle and looking for a place that you might want to call home, you live in the city and you're new here and you want to get to know places that you should hang out, or you're just generally Seattle curious and you want to come along on this journey. These videos are going to do exactly that for different neighborhoods all over the city, starting with one of my favorites. So let's go. Now the exact neighborhood limits of Wallingford are a little iffy. Where does it stop being Fremont and start being Wallingford, especially on Stoneway? And is Gasworks Park in Wallingford or is North Lake a real neighborhood? We don't know, but we are now on Stoneway, heading towards one of the main streets in the town, 45th. There's a store right on the corner of 45th and Stoneway that I have always wanted to go in, but I haven't, so let's go inside and see what it's all about. Archie McPhee's is a combination party store, costume store, toy store, and what my mom might call a tchotchka store. It kind of smells like Party City. Remember Party City? From here, I crossed the street to explore a place that is two stores in one. Cedar House Flowers, and Petty Boutique share a beautiful space on 45th where you can find flowers, plants, and gorgeous clothing and accessories. There are so many cafes in Wallingford that you'll want to explore them all. There are tons of great restaurants and one of my absolute favorite dive bars in the city. It's great for dancing on Saturday nights or singing karaoke on Sundays. If you have the willpower to keep going past Dick's drive through at least admire this location, the original Dick's Drive-In, before they expanded to other neighborhoods in Seattle. Another block down, you'll find one of the best record shops in the city, Golden Oldies. Not only does it have one of the best selections in Seattle, it's also one of the most affordable places to come for records. They also have cassettes and CDs. I've walked quite far down 45th to get to a cafe that I've read about being one of the best coffee shops in the city for a good cup of coffee and a quiet place to just relax. Brought my laptop, ready to get some work done. And you can see the cascades from here, which is just another reason to love this neighborhood. The coffee at A Muddy Cup did not disappoint. It was smooth, strong, and delicious. They also have a nice outdoor seating area. The only problem was that they close at three, so I didn't get a chance to get quite so much work done before it was time to leave. There's one more place on the main street where I wanna grab something before we start exploring some of the side streets. Molly Moons has locations all over Seattle, and you'll no doubt want to explore more once you've tried it, but their original location was right here in Wallingford. I got the blueberry pie in a kid's size, which I love that you can get as an adult, because <laughs> it's just the right amount. So good. I ate my ice cream and explored some of the side streets where there are cute houses that, according to Zillow, are a mere 800,000 to 1.6 million dollars. If you're not interested in buying, there are also plenty of slightly more affordable apartment buildings and townhouses around to rent. Google seems to think that Gasworks Park is part of Wallingford. So while we're wandering around, it would be rude not to swing by this beautiful park for some of the best views of the Seattle skyline. I hope 
hope you guys enjoyed touring around Wallingford with me. It's such a cute neighborhood and I'm so excited to take you around to other parts of the city. So make sure that you are subscribed so you don't miss out on any of those. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. It really supports my channel. Of course, I know before all the locals come at me <laughs> that this is not all of Wallingford. It is a pretty big neighborhood and there's so much to see, so many beautiful houses, so many cute restaurants and bars and cafes. So no doubt there will be a part two, but this was a good introduction uh, for you to see the main area of the, of the neighborhood, uh, for us all to get to know the cute little houses, to eat some ice cream, drink some coffee, buy some records. And thanks as always for watching. I will see you next time.